Hello, my name is Jason Dean. I'm the Deputy Chief at the Town of Clayton Fire Department in North Carolina. And we're here uh, today to do our final inspection on our Enforcer Heavy Duty Rescue. It is replacing a 1997 Heavy Rescue that we've uh, been actually in and got it from another department. So this is a very well uh, needed truck for our area. We cover about a 53 square mile uh, area in North Carolina just outside of Raleigh. A heavy rescue provider. So everything that this truck's going to do is from heavy rescues to structure fires to technical rescue. Special operations division is going to use it as well as medical calls uh, when needed. This was the uh, one of the first enforcers um, ordered for the rescue body. And uh, a couple of unique aspects we have is it is equipped with a backup camera so our drivers as they're backing in and add, added safety we added some, uh, some safety aspects even when the doors open some warning lights and some reflectivity here for our busy highways <clears throat> we custom did the the rear area we put three forward facing seats uh, so our firefighters can see where we're going. We also included, instead of the driver having to store his or her gear in the compartment space, we made this area behind the driver's seat. They can store their gear with a netting. Alright, um, we actually were able to maximize our space by even adding a little, you know, maximizing our cab area by adding a little side compartment for some odd men storage. This compartment, we have our um, custom tilt down trays. This is pretty much going to be for our rope rescue area. Transverse custom built toolbox. Made to fit pretty much the specialty equipment we have to have for our heavy rescue standard. Moving on, uh, we're going to keep our gas powered stuff here. And one unique thing about this compartment is it's not vented to our ropes compartment. That's one thing we were able to work with with our with our sales our salesman. We didn't want the gas compartment venting to our rope compartment. So if you notice on the wall, there's no vents here, as you see on the other on the other um, compartment. So that was very unique. So we didn't have any cross contamination with that. We have belly pin storage, maximizing our long tool storage by having a fold out. Uh, vertical boards here. Space saver. We can fill two bottles at the same time. Store some. We also have a technical rescue air cart tray for our confined space program. And our uh, we have a high pressure reel, low pressure reel for our air tools, and our electrical, your common electrical reel, which we have a few of those around the, the truck. A unique thing about the top area is we were able to move our we were able to move our light tower to the top of the cab which allowed us to maximize we have a plethora of storage on top of our truck to have things that we need don't use a whole lot but we have to have you know cutting torches has material booms hazmat suits things that we have to have we were also able to move a couple of our ground ladders we have a full complement of ground ladders for ISO purposes we actually are able to move a couple of those up top to maximize of our area here. As you see, we have ground lighters. We have an uh, area for our Stokes basket, Stokes basket rigging, our tripods, some long timbers for structural collapse uh, components, a portable winch down low. We can put, we have a receiver on all sides of our truck. Moving on around, uh, just very common storage. Tilt down shelves, electrical area, we're gonna have some vent fans here. And then to our specially designed extrication area, this is where we're gonna have two SIMO pumps. We'll have two pre-connected tools on the front bumper, a cutter and a, uh, excuse me, a spreader and a telescoping ram. And we'll have our uh, cutter here with the other ram, our spare hoses, chains, pretty much our extrication system. Our system here will actually extend out We'll pull this out so it'll allow the lines to go 
uh, torter truck without rubbing up against the, the truck area. And now we're on the other side of our transverse. Pretty much everywhere you see black netting is going to be where our wood cribbing is, along with some rescue jacks, some airbags, oil dry, and we have more underbody storage on this side too for our brooms and shovels and things like that. And moving on around, uh, we also have in the cab area an area designed for our mobile computers that we'll be able to mount or slide outs in this area. And everything is easily accessible from the company officer side for assisting the driver in responses. And last but definitely not least is our custom front bumper. We're actually going to have two pre-connected tools here, two hydraulic lines. We also have a, a, a cover that can be deployed to help protect our front bumper area. And we also work with and also had it, uh, have the uh, tough decks coating put on to also help protect the bumper edge. But pretty unique in the fact we can deploy this and not damage our, our front bumper area. As far as lighting systems, we actually have another, we have a built-in Opticom system where we control some of the stoplights in the city. Uh, that's built into our, our lighting matrix and so we don't have to turn it on and off uh, by itself. It's built in to our light systems. That pretty much wraps up everything uh, for our rescue truck. Thank you.